For Splonator.com, I'm News. Well, welcome to day zero of E3 2014. That's right, the big show is not actually underway, but Microsoft and Sony's conferences are today. And that's really where you're going to get most of the news anyway. Let's start by talking about the host, Phil Spencer. That's right, the new head of Xbox was there. He was on stage and he really acted to reassure the crowd, the viewers, that this was for them. He opened the show by saying that the whole conference was going to be about games and, and, he, and they stuck with it. There was no talk about video services or sports viewing services. Uh, and then actually he also closed by assuring the audience that Xbox was for them. In other words, the media, the hardcore press, and hardcore viewers at home. So definitely setting the right tone there. Now. In terms of what they actually showed, they really stuck with that. There's just one Kinect game, it was called Dance Central Disney Fantasia Music Evolved, uh, and it was very just briefly discussed. That was it for Kinect. I mean, if, if you want to know uh, what the future of Kinect is, I think that pretty much tells you right there. Uh, and now let's, now really the conference was just it was all games, but it was very low on surprises. So just to go through all of the non-surprises, they opened with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I think that's like an, a Microsoft tradition at this point. Uh, Forza Horizon 2, Assassin's Creed Unity, now starring four-player co-op. By the way, the theme of the show, in addition to decapitations, is co-op. You gotta have online co-op, apparently. Uh, you're not allowed to play video games by yourself anymore. And then they had Dragon Age Inquisition, Sunset Overdrive, which by the way looks awesome. Uh, the trailer even was kind of making fun of Call of Duty, so that looks cool. Fable Legends, more co-op. Uh, Witcher 3, Tom Clancy's The Division, more co-op. Crackdown 3. Uh, of course Halo 5 was, was there, which you know looks cool, but no surprise. And then we got a, a preview of the Left 4 Dead spiritual successor Evolve that's coming from the original Left 4 Dead's uh, developers, Turtle Rock. So that looked cool, but hey, by the way, online co-op. We got our first look at Rise of the Tomb Raider. That is, of course, the sequel to the recent reboot of the franchise. Uh, that's about the worst title for a game I've ever heard, but I'm sure if it's in line with the previous game, it's great. Uh, once again, not really a surprise. Now, the low points of this show, uh, there were really two of them. Uh, the first, you know, they were showing off Project Spark, which if you haven't heard of this, this is something that's coming to, I think it's 360 and Xbox One. Basically, it's some kind of sandbox. You can make your own games. And uh, they, were, they were showing that off. And at the end, boom, here's Conquer. And they announced, yeah, you can put Conquer in your Project Spark game. So... In other words, Microsoft telling you, go ahead and make your own rare games because we're not going to do it. Uh, and then they bring out Ken Lobb, that's right, Clob himself was there. Uh, and he, he was, you know, he's getting me excited, he's saying they're going to reboot a classic franchise. I'm like, okay, what's it going to be? It's going to be Banjo, it's going to be Perfect Dark. Uh, no, it is uh, Phantom Dust, so that's an old Xbox original game. That uh, has nothing to do with Rare. Alright, now, they did have, you know, some fun moments. And in fact, some of these other items, fine. Just not very surprising. Uh, Dead Rising 3 DLC out today. It's called Super Ultra Dead Rising 3 Arcade Remix Hyper Edition EX Plus A. And yes, you can cosplay as your favorite Capcom characters. Celebrating the 31st anniversary of Capcom. Uh, that looks awesome. That is definitely a return to form for the uh, Dead Rising franchise, so that's pretty cool. And then they bring out Hideki Kamiya. Uh, you know him well, Platinum Games own. Uh, and he debuted Scalebound. Now, it was a pure CG trailer. No indication what the gameplay is here. Uh, my summary is Monster Hunter starring Joffrey Baratheon. Uh, this blonde kid with a big sword fighting big dragony things. Uh, so really all that does is go to confirm that Nintendo has not purchased Platinum and they are not working on Star Fox. 
highlight of the show was the worst kept secret in gaming. Halo Master Chief Collection unveiled officially. We already knew it was coming for weeks, uh, already leaked, but uh, this does in fact include Halos 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, Halo 2 is getting the full remaster. Uh, everything's 1080p, 60 frames per second, because of course Microsoft's got to mention that anywhere they can, which is not all that often. Uh, it's going to just be the cost of a normal full price game. It's coming November 11th this year. Uh, everything is unlocked from the start, so that's interesting. And all the multi all the multiplayer maps uh, from all those Halo games will be available. Uh, they made a special point of saying the Halo 2 multiplayer is there exactly as you remember it. Like, in, you know, even original game engine from the original game. So uh, that definitely got a cheer from the Halo fans. That is definitely what, you know, Xbox fans want to hear. So... That's all the news we got out of the show. This was a very much a paint by numbers conference for Microsoft. Uh, they played it safe, which means they played it smart. You know, after years of disasters, embarrassing situations, all kinds of terrible gif fodder, uh, they just showed us a whole bunch of good looking games. Uh, it was exactly what I think Xbox One needs right now. Uh, reassuring us that that connect is not the future of xbox i mean i think that's very clearly uh what they what they've given us here right now by the way you can now go buy xbox one without connect for uh 400 bucks so this is the new xbox one <laughs> it would have been nice to maybe have them actually openly mocking connect or or distancing themselves or in fact just reminding us that you could now go out and get an xbox one sans connect but I suppose they just don't want to talk about that anymore. So, good solid show for Microsoft. I'm going to give them a 3.5 out of 5. We'll see how Sony and Nintendo do, but uh, this is definitely a solid entry to kick things off.